The next day, the streets were decorated beautifully with flowers for the Dhanur Yagna. There was a festive mood in the whole of Mathura. People wore new clothes and set off for the palace where various activities were to be held. At the entrance gate, the big male elephant named Kovalayapit had already been stationed. The Mahout then deliberately blocked their entrance. Krishna thundered at the Mahout. Oh Mahout, do not block the way with your elephant. We want to go in. If you do not make way, you and your elephant will be killed. The Mahout hoped Kovalayapit to attack Krishna. The elephant caught Krishna by its trunk, but Krishna cleverly slipped out of its grasp. He gave a mighty blow on its forehead and hid himself between its legs. Krishna ran behind the elephant and caught its tail. He began to pull it and just got to do nothing but scream out in pain. Then he caught hold of its tusk and flung it to the ground. Krishna and Balram broke one tusk each and with it struck Kovalayapi. All was now set for the wrestling match. Krishna and Balram entered the arena. Both of you are welcome. We have heard of your past achievements. King Kamsa wants to see your strength. And that's why you have been invited to Mathura to have a duel against us. We shall always do what's pleasing to the king. But we're only boys. How can we fight against the best wrestlers of the world? You are no more kids. Just now, you killed the mighty Kuvalaya Pete. You are undoubtedly qualified to wrestle with strong opponents. Now, come and test your strength with me. Let Balram fight Mustik. Krishna and Balram exchanged glances and smiled. Krishna decided to kill Chanura. Krishna lifted Chanura high above his head and whirled him round and round until the wrestler fell dead, striking the earth with his body. The citizens of Mathura roared with joy. Krishna and Balram were now looked on as saviors. <laughs> 